hi guys welcome back to the channel here is my preview for the away game against brighton now it's a tough game there's no denying that we played well against burnley but they sat back i mean nil nil was written in the stars it was what every top six football twitter fan was hoping for um but we played well we could have won a few times Nick Pope was excellent that game, which I believe kept them in it. Um, but Brighton played a lot of attacking foot, which will play well into our hands this weekend. Well, Monday. And by the way, I'd like to add as well, we haven't been televised for any of our November games either, so Sky are expecting us to dish out £69.95 for three games in November, plus the extra two that we've got to dish out for, and then Burnley. So we've had to play... West Brom fans would have had to pay over £142 worth of subscriptions by the end of November. It's a fucking joke, sorry for my language, but it is it is, um, it's a disgrace, it really is. I don't know what Sky think they're playing at, but I'm not paying it, I'll illegally stream it. Um, I'll give my money to the food bank where it should go, because that's what we should be doing. Um, don't let those con artists Sky dupe you into any money, don't pay it stream it use different sites he's goals i don't care what you use don't pay that money they don't deserve a penny of our money sky don't and that's my rant over now the game itself um it's gonna be tough right to play good football they've um they've only won one this season but it was convincing against newcastle um, it's a tough game, it really is. I think it's because we don't really know what to expect. Brighton could batter us, we could win this. It's a real mixed bag, this game. But I'm hoping for our first win. Because it was signs of it against Burnley, but we couldn't break him down. But things could be different this time. We've got Sam Johnson, 100 games for Albion this game. I'd like to say congratulations. I don't know if he's watching, but I think he's a credit to the club. I don't, people can have his opinion whether they like. I think he's mature enough to see past it. Um, people will say what they want on the internet, but these same people will go and ask him for an autograph if they saw him in the shop because of the anonymity of the internet. But Sam Johnson, 100 games for the club, 25% clean sheet record, which everyone says isn't a good record. It is. You've got to think about it realistically. Um, it is a good record to have. So, yeah, um, congratulations on the 100 games, Sam. Now, danger plays for them. Now, you've got Neil Malpe, Anne Trossard. Uh, I can't remember the others. Um, there's others. Just You'll know who they are. Um, Lewis Dunn got a red card. That's a big miss for them, and that could play well into our hands because he'll be a player that would have been stuck on. Um... Grant, but Grant can play a more free role now. I believe that they've got Ben White. Ben White's a good defender. We all know the saga with him in Leeds. Leeds, by the way, congratulations on slaughtering the Villa yesterday. Um, I've always been quite fond of Hattrick Bamford. <laughs> Danger plays for us. Uh, we've got Pereira, Grady. Grant looked good. He scored a good header. He was offside. But it, it was a good finish, a strong header. Um, Conor Gallagher looked very good. Vraslav Ivanovic looked exactly what we needed. Higazi, it looks like he's staying. So we got some good players. And it looks like once this defence settles, we could have the winning bargain. Will we see Gibbo return? I don't know. Conor Townsend's played well. And um, Bilt is absolutely right. I don't care how good Gibbo is. He's got to earn his spot, spot in the lineup. And if Conor Townsend is earning it more than him, Townsend should be starting, but if Gibbs is putting in the performance, the training ground, I'd love to see him back, because he's an excellent player. Now, score prediction. See, I don't know, because it could go, I know awful, you know, this one really could go one of three ways, because a draw wouldn't be a bad result, but we do need a win. Um, but then a win would probably help us against Fulham next week who are bad, but it would be typical Albion to sort of break their little run of form. We all know that. So a win would boost our confidence. Brighton are dangerous, though. That can't be underestimated. I'm going to go with 
rather optimistically 2-1 Albion I think that Grant will get his first goal and I think you know what for some reason I've got a weird feeling Darnell Furlong's going to score I don't know why I just do <laughs> it'll be should be a good game I'll be watching it uh, things cross we win the important thing is we don't lose it is, a, it is a must win but so is every game so that's easy to say but this is a tough tough game can't be underestimating them but we did look there were clear signs of improving against Burnley so up the Albion on to Brighton let's get those three points see you soon <laughs>